like a hundred miles today going up and down the beach looking for glass minnows it's the glass minnow run you guys probably already saw the drone footage we got adam malusi what's up we got boys? the boys we got yame sam brown daniel behind the camera and we were all we're all basically just like messing around right now and we saw a bunch of little tarpon kind of just jumping and i just casted the fluke just thinking what the heck maybe it's out there I got smoked. Yeah, like Victor saying, we're literally sitting here about to go home. It's, we've been grinding all day, looking up and down the beach for coons. Finally saw a couple rolling. There's not even they're not even on bait, and just all took a cast, and Victor hooked up. Yo, you got him. Cameraman Dan. Good, yeah, dude. Thank goodness Dan's here to get us the money shots. I still can't believe I have this thing on. I, what? Like we were about to give up and go home, weren't we? Dude, we were walking back I knew it was going to happen. I knew someone was going to be walking back. Dan goes, Victor, cast Dan goes, should I take the camera? I'm like, no. Oh! So with these big fish, even a 60 pound tarpon, especially in these swells and surf, they'll kick your butt. And tarpon, like anyone knows, anyone who knows anything about tarpon, they're like the hardest fish to land. They break you off. They cut you off. They jump, they spit the hook in their mouths. You guys are gonna see in a second here if we land it, how hard they are to even get the hook through there. So when you get them in the surf, you gotta really play them. So the last thing that fish wants to do, the last wow. thing this fish wants to do is get caught between the swells. He wants that deeper water. He does not want to be anywhere near us. So every time we get him close to the trough, like Sam's gonna go and lead her up. Every time he gets close to the trough, he shoots back out. You really gotta, Kind of use the swells to your advantage and trying to get the swells to push your fish up on the beach. Boys, we got it done. Yeah. Got like a nice 60, 70 pound fish on the jerk bait right there. 60 pound tough one. And uh, Sam, Sam with the clutch grab right there. Yeah, like so. <laughs> we try to leave the tarpon in the water as much as possible. Now I'm just gonna walk him out. Kind of revive. How'd that release go? We got it. We got it done. So the best part of that fish was not only letting it go, but Sam freaking yes. killed it, brother, with the, the grab. We got Yames. He not, didn't do anything. Yames is not cooking that tarpon up. <laughs> not today. And then Adam. I drove. Bro, how, how 
far did we drive today looking for that thing? Too far. Too far. Way too far for that tarpon. Yeah. And that was that was definitely a lot of luck in that. Yeah. You just slung it 100%. out there. And I was just winging it. Just got lucky. Right but, place, right time. That's why you just gotta keep on casting, that's baby. Right. That's but it. Let's get another one. What do we got right now? Fish on the end of the air. Nice, wow. Dude, nice. Excuse the French. Well, Whoa. we've been grinding out here. You want to hear me talk? Here, here's what I gotta say. Here. We've been grinding it out all day looking for carpet. It's absolutely yeah. sucked. We finally yeah. just got on a couple fish. I will. Dude, for how much fish? For how much bait there is there's no fish? Right now it's just you really hard finding fish. Spent a couple hours. Um, Victor just had a nice one, probably the same size as this, about 60 pounds. Um, but that's after like four hours of searching, man. But finally paid off. First, first actual bite of the day. This handle is extremely slick. I don't know how I feel about it. Doing it. Wow. Oh. How do we just stop love the work right now? Hey, if anyone's not gonna hook one, it's gonna be me though, right? Hey, you gotta either fish my rod or my reel. Or I know, yeah. Or no. I know, me and James just keep it on. Oh, no. Yo, we might just Quick. Zero to three, and we might land. We might go three yo, for yo, three. Yo, yo, you landed. I never. Oh, what did I like it? You didn't like it. <laughs> all right, all right. We got double. We have two fish in the surf right now. I don't know how to do that. Victor's grabbing the yeah. Victor yeah. grabbing a turkey. Okay, we're gonna get a double check. I'll start walking my mind. We got a crew. No. No. Beautiful carpet out here. We're about to get a double check. This Bobby lights out. I've been waiting one time. Really? You haven't got one yet? Oh. There's one kid Dane and his buddy got it, but like they landed some fish. I mean we've had like quads, but yeah. nobody ever landed. There's too much going on. All right, she's gonna come right at you. Nah, she's done right here. Yo, Victor's got that. Yo, imagine if we land her right next to her. Yeah, Yo, Dave! Woo! Oh, that was yeah, you got your pension. Pen. Just do not know, know the tension of the glass, okay? Like, all, all the tension. You rocked her. Look at the NLBM. I just lost my coaster. You did? Yeah. 
roped him. Where is he going? Three for three on tarpon? Are you? That's like unheard of. It's like record breaking. Three for three on land based tarpon at that. Wow. No! Damn. What do you gotta say about that, man? Moving weight, Little land, land shark. shark. That's what happens, baby. Bro. <sighs> you guys killed it. That's like the double of dreams right there. That's it, dude. I've been waiting all season for that. Get my boy James. Yo! <laughs> two, two glasses and a hat. <laughs> How are you feeling about that, James? Ah, uh, it's so worth it, I don't care. The glasses are probably floating around right there. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, Yo. Oh, boy. <laughs> it only took one time for me to see what you look like without a hat on. Oh, uh, I know, right? James, <laughs> you'll never see it again. Oh, thank you. There you go. That was not your glasses. That's your hat, right? Wow. Yeah. Lights out. Somebody call Ern. Someone call Ern. It's called a no light bait needed. Um, you can actually find them. I have a YouTube channel, and then if you want to buy them, you can get 10% off. Wow, they're, I mean, those fish were amazing. I know, yeah, they, they eat the heck out of these lures. Yes. What's going on, man? I just got those lures because I'm just eating them. Really? Yeah. The NLBNs? That's sick. I'm recording now. Hey, you said he bought the NLBNs because of the video. What's uh, your name? Henry. Nice, Henry, that's sick. Hey, let's catch some fish. Let's man. do it. Wow. That's a lot. What? You know that is a lot. That. Hey, if anyone's going to oh. catch one, it'd be me, though. If that's a slot, that's that a Sebastian slot. That's the heaviest Sebastian slot. Ah! Oh, wow, he's the NLBN. That's a Hold. Wait, wait, Victor, get in here with me. Me? Yeah. What do you eat, baby? NLBN. Dude, I'm telling you, they catch everything. They did. That's a snot. That's a Bro, look at that. Alright, guys, for, if you guys want to purchase NLBNs, you guys see they catch every, every, They literally catch everything. We'll have a code popping up right here. Save 10% off on everything from No Life Ain't Needed. We're going to go ahead and measure this fish. They even catch land sharks. If this if this thing's slaw, dude, he looks chunky. Does he look no, short? No, uh, he's over slaw, dude. Let's measure him. Yeah. He's just look how short he is. <laughs> put it put it on the side. Wow. Thirty two. Oh my no, he's over. He's just over. Yeah, put it on the ground. That's he's fat. You can't yeah, do put it. it on the ground. Yeah, and lay it straight. Like you gotta put tension on it, you know what I mean? Hold on. Tension. Yeah. Yeah, he's, he's thirty five. Uh, he's like thirty four. Dude, it's so fat. Look how fat he is. Damn. Wow. Can't complain though. We're gonna go ahead and release it. Right. One more time. Bye bye. Yeah. <laughs> That's huge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you think it would be big? I've caught. We've caught in 24-inch snook on these. Yeah, they don't. Yeah. They're aggressive. Yeah. No, you would have You gotta buy one. Yeah, hey, well, Henry, have Henry, are you gonna go buy an NLBN tonight? I'm the biggest fan! Yeah! Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's cool, guys. That's sick. Hey, so we I go, came, We came all the way up here, boys. Dude, if that was all a slot, how'd we make this happen all the last the hour? All the way. Yo, all the boys got a fish. All, all right, so if you guys were wondering how we how we uh, work these lures, it's, it's, it's honestly simple. For a paddle tail like this, the 5-inch or the 8-inch, when we're tarpon fishing, you just want to cast out as far as you possibly can. You don't have to let it sink at all. I'm fishing, I think this is a one or one and a half pounds chick head. And I just slow roll it, just like this. And I leave my tip my tip up. See how my tip's wobbling like that? You want that lure to be going like this in the water. And the, the fish feel that vibration. It's just boom. But that's how I work the paddle tail. Sam, explain how you work the straight tail. Yeah, there's two ways to work both of the baits. Um, I fish the eight inches more than anything. So we got straight tail and paddle tail. Like Adam says, we're tarpon fishing, we're going to keep that bait high up in the water column. A lot of these tarpon are just always looking up, so you want to keep that bait high. So the same deal with the straight tails. If you're going to fish current, you're going to fish bridges, you're going to fish around structure. You want to fish those baits a little bit deeper, work them a little bit slower. Depends on what the fish are doing. You work it fast or work it slow. Um, 
But yeah, there's usually just two ways you really work them, or at least I do. You can, I mean, yeah. I mean I'm honestly, you could have no idea what you're doing out here and just throw them. You're going to catch fish. But once you really get them dialed in, these things are money. Money. So I know I've said it a lot in this video, but if you guys actually want to purchase them, like I said, the, the code will probably already be popping over here. I'll have the link below. 10% off is money, bro. Yeah, 10% off. That, that's a $100 order. That's $10 off. That's like what? Like three free baits? Something like that. Two free jig heads, three baits. Something like that. Better than, better than no discount. You guys find fish and you throw on LBN. Lights up. Lights up. So this is uh, one of the two snook that me and Sam caught a couple days ago. And we're going to go ahead and clean it up for you. 31 and a half incher. Go ahead and make that first cut right there. And then I like to insert my knife right behind his dorsal fin right there and just follow it up to the head and fall all the way back down. And see this knife gliding right through? It's actually an eight inch Dexter knife. If you guys want to purchase a Dexter, I'll have a code popping up right here. You can save 20% on all Dexter knives and the link will be below. Just like Victor. It's actually Victor's knife. How sharp is that knife? It is sharp, dude. I mean, you hear it. Snook are a super simple fish to fillet. They're, they're a great fish to work with. They've got that good, firm meat. You can cook it any way you want. You really can't go wrong with snook, in my opinion. Go over that rib cage right there and then play that bottom section. Wow, we had some blood circulating. Beautiful snook fillet. I'm gonna go ahead and skin it for you and then we're gonna do the other side, but wow. They got pretty thick skin too, so can't mess that up. Sometimes you get that silver stuff on there though. You know what I'm talking about? What is that? That's just bottom of their skin. I think it's a membrane. Yeah. That goes between the skin and the foil. Wow. Well, left a little bit of meat on there, but there's zero bloodline, so it doesn't matter anyways. It, the bloodline doesn't taste like anything. Go ahead and cut the pin bones out. And then I left a little bit of rib cage on there. I missed a little bit. So I cut that out as well. Just like that. You got your beautiful. Look how good that looks. I'm ready to eat it. I'm ready too. Beautiful snook fly. Go ahead, do the other side, and then we got the whole crew, and we're gonna go grub. See you in a little bit. This is my boy James. So we got on a sick tarp by yesterday. Um, he's doing all the cooking in the kitchen, so. I have no idea what's going on, James, if you, if you would. All right. The camera we're doing. So we're doing something real easy today. Um, I have my friends at Cholo, so I hooked me up with some uh, fresh tortilla shells. We're going to do some uh, tacos two ways. We're going to do them fried and then like a Mexican spice. And then uh, a little street corn salad on the side wow. with some of uh, Vic's friends and microgreens in there. Nice micro cilantro. It's delicious. This is my buddy Preston. He started growing mi microgreens as a hobby turned into a full-scale business, which I think is awesome. Young guy, turned his passion into a career. And uh, the deal with these things is it's basically like, it's cilantro, basil, and parsley, but he has all different varieties. He has radish, uh, wasabi, all sorts of different stuff. And you, call you get like, I'm calling you wasabi. You're spicy. Ooh. Um, Yo. You get a lot of flavor packed in a little bite. So like, pretend you have three big cilantro leaves, packed into one little cilantro leaf. It's like 10 times more potent than a regular cilantro leaf. Yeah, That's Sam, right. you tried it, what did you think? I was actually kind of surprised, you know, it's just you're eating something that's half an inch and it's got more kick than a whole spoonful of wasabi. True. You guys have to go subscribe to my boy Victor's channel. I'll have his link down below and popping up right here, Land Shark Outdoors. Oh, thanks buddy, thank you. If you guys want to go check it out, we'll have the full seminar on his channel. And also, James, what's your Instagram? Uh, Yames, it's Y A M E S, two. And that's it. He really straightforward, easy. Yames, yeah, two. Make sure to go check him out. Yeah, go give him some followers. Go Get give him some, some love. nice photos and videos of him cooking, catching fish, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, but we will see you when the final product's done. Alright, so right here is going to be like your main ingredient in the, uh, in the tacos. 
I cheated a little bit and got already shredded cabbage. I know. But it just saves time and it's something that you can obviously you can avoid like cutting cabbage at home. And all you have in here is the shredded cabbage, some sweet peppers, a little bit of onion. I'm gonna add some sour cream and mayo to this and a little bit of lime. And then probably like some chili. Just like give it like that nice Mexican flavor and that nice like Spanish spice. And this is gonna go with also, I'm gonna make avocado crema. And that just gives you like that nice creaminess in the taco to like finish it off. And uh, all the avocado crema has in it is lime, sour cream, and salt and pepper pretty much. And you just blend that up in the, in the little bullet or whatever you have at home, blender, RoboCoop, whatever. And that's it, real simple, straightforward tacos, you know? What are you doing right now, James? So this is for the uh, avocado crema. So we're just taking some, like, like about like three nice ripe avocados. When you grab the avocados from the store, don't grab like the super green ones. See how they have like a nice darker flesh on them on the outside? Okay. And you just give them a nice little squeeze if they, if there's a lot, like just, just enough where you can get them like that. You don't want them like too hard, you don't want them too soft either because then they'll start to brown on you. But all the, all the crema is getting in it is uh, avocado, some lime, a little bit of uh, garlic powder, salt and pepper, and it'll be lights out. All right, so this is the, uh, this is the, like the spiced one that's not fried. So we're just gonna start out with a little bit of coriander. You can kind of, like I said, you can throw whatever spices on there that you want. You want to just have it kind of like that that Spanish flavor to it. A little paprika, and don't worry about like over seasoning this fish because you this isn't salt and pepper that we're dusting on there. It's almost like a Mexican blackening spice that we're making ourselves. A little bit of garlic powder, and I'm just winging it. This is the kind of thing you can just look in look in your little. Lazy Susan or something, and just pick out all the spices that you have. Chili powder? A little bit of chili powder. And the reason why I don't have a paper towel laid down like I normally would when I'm searing fish, is we're gonna roll this all around in the spices that are, didn't like leach onto the fish. A little salt and pepper, and then that's literally it. Then we're gonna start cooking. So this is like a your typical beer batter. You can honestly use whatever beer you want. This is just Corona Light, keep with the theme, you know? And you use beer or whatever, anything carbonated, because it adds air and adds like nice fluffiness and crispiness to the fish. And you can kind of just eyeball it yourself. The secret to this is you want, you want to get your hands in there. And that helps you to create that, that air. And obviously, if you need more than one beer, you can get another beer in there. But you want this almost, if you were to stick a spoon to it inside, you want it to like coat that back of that spoon, just lifting it up. I think I've you learned more, more about cooking sitting here watching games for a couple minutes than I have in my life on YouTube. That's, That's nice. That's exactly it's where you want it. Yeah, so this is the fancier side of it. I have the, the fried fish rolling right now at the same time I'm doing this, trying to like time it out kind of perfect. Um, with this, you just want a nice color on it. I'm gonna finish it on the stove and flip it and do everything that I normally wouldn't, just because they're like this size, you know? It's just taco size, little bite-sized pieces, little fingers, and that's all you really want, like medium to high heat. You can have a little smoke in this one, but you just wanna start out like a tad bit lower. This is a little bit thicker for a fish. Oh, dude, you smell that? Yeah, that's mm -hmm. smell that, 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 that intro, that's that chipotle. All those nice aromatics. Did you do chipotle? Yeah, I put That's some chipotle right, in there. Yeah, take a deep breath and you'll sneeze. It smells really good. Alright, so I know this video has been all over the place, but after we caught those tarpon, uh, me and Sam had already caught two slot snooks, so we ended up just flaying it. And we got everybody at the beach club. Yo! Shout out to Brooke. Hey, Brooke's been a real help. She's cleaning everything up. <laughs> With all these boys, you gotta, you gotta keep things there. clean. That's right, yeah. Link below and Victor. But I know this video's been all over the place, like I said. We, we tarpon fish, and now we're playing the snook. And now James is cooking up the fish, but this is about to be an amazing dinner, and we got good friends. So I'll see you when the fish is done. All right, so once again, the fun part, guys. This is the, uh, the plate up. Victor came with these nice little taco racks. We're just gonna lay the tacos in there like that, real rustic and simple. If you have some that like, you pile them up like that, they have a tendency to stick together. But we have so many, so it's gonna be totally fine. Lay them in there like that. A little bit 
of your fish down first. Nice crispy fish. We're gonna do a little of the blackening spiced one. A little scoop of the slaw. This is the street coin you guys saw me make earlier. Just a little dollop of that on the plate. Nothing crazy, nothing crazy fancy at all. And this is the avocado crema. Just a little dollop of that on top. And if you guys really want to, you know, get fancy, you can do like little dots on the plate, whatever you want. And that's essentially it. We finish with a little bit of cilantro. Lights out. Lights out. That's it, boys. Chef, lights out. <laughs> Yo. Yeah, hey, who votes for Yams to start a YouTube channel? I'm right, not even dude. kidding. I'm not kidding. I do. Everyone in the comments, drop a comment below if you vote for Yams to start a YouTube channel. Are you kidding? That is insane. Are you kidding me, bro? I feel like I'm... Is this my plate? Alright, everybody. Cheers and shout out to James. For this one thing. Thank you, James. James. This is the most lights out thing Look I've ever this. seen. Look at this. Hey, I got the chef's plate. Look I at kind that. of stole it. Unreal. <laughs> I'm going to take the first bite, all right? And we're going to see how it is. The silence is killing I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Dude. I have no words. I it's can't so, call it. It's refreshing, isn't it? Every, like, the flavors in there just pop. It's so refreshing. Is there... What is this? What is that? That's refreshing. I don't know what that is. <laughs> that yellow thing. That's a yellow pepper. It's good. Everything in here is amazing. I love it. All right, Everything, that's all I have to say. You know what? Everything compliments. Yeah, let's see yeah what you for got. sure. I don't know. I can't call it, but you know what? Yes, you can. Lights out. That's all I'm gonna say. Oh my, dude! I could eat. I could literally eat these. I gotta go. <laughs> you know we're missing? Gone. Wow. We're missing Yo, Brooks' yeah. dad. We are missing Brooks' dad. Mr. Unreal, Chris dude. needs to be here right now. That's honestly, a heart, we need a I'm gonna put my glasses on him right now. <laughs> wow. Yeah, for honestly, sure. dude. No, no like joke. best fish tacos I've ever had in my life. <laughs> Very recreational. If there wasn't for Arm, we wouldn't be saying yo. Yo. We won't be saying we won't be saying yo or lights out tonight. But no, for real. Huge thanks to James. We probably said it three thousand times in the video, but it was an epic dinner. If you guys want to watch the full Lights cooking out. section, it'll be on his channel. But, till next video, move away, ciao, baby.